Hey everybody, it's Gordon Dave here, another episode of Zap Talk. Zap Talk. Number 66, I believe. Yeah, Hail Satan. No, they, that's, that's not 66. We're, I don't think we're going to make it to 666, <laughs> so I, for a certain demographic, I feel like I needed to, to run out 66 there. is one of my favorite numbers because my favorite athlete of all time is Mario Lemieux, so I love 66. Okay. Not a big you can have fan. your own reasons. <laughs> uh, so... I am ex super pumped. It's not a big week, but there's a book coming out this week that I I, I cannot wait to get because. I, well, would you say? I don't know if it's best cover of the year, but I put it in that category. Oh, it's up there. It's really. Oh my god, it's awesome. It's awesome. Uh, the Detective Comics number thirty. Now there's a new creative team coming on, and it's the Flash team of Francis Manipal and Brian Buccellato. Great last names. And when they left <laughs> Flash, it was like a big deal. But he's like, "What's going on? They're going to Detective." And if you see the artwork interior and especially the cover on this book it is awesome so definitely check it out uh it's a whole it new actually, arc it looks and feels like a detective comic yeah this is to how detectives should feel before like, it just felt like another batman story they kind of went through all the villains it was interesting but now um it's a story about drugs on the street a new drug and whatever it's doing to the people as you see on the cover there's some little like it's like a ghost rider uh oh there, it looks like, like a lot of Ghost Riders know. now. There's like two in Marvel. There's so many. So Batman needed his own Ghost Rider. <laughs> he was like trying to show me up. So there, I see like motorcycles and fire and whatnot. So if you ever want, check out awesome. the Flash run they did. I think they did until issue 27 ish. Um, especially the early, early ones are awesome. Definitely check it out. People stand by that book. Yeah. It, it put Flash on the map. You know, now that the show's coming out, it's really. Uh, and people, the back issues of Flash keep selling and selling and selling. It's mostly because of them. When it, I'm going to break my rule on this, too, What's for this book. I have a one Batman book rule. <laughs> because it's a slippery slope. Yeah. How many Batman books do you have? Like All I know 13. is that Batman books start over there, <laughs> and they end <laughs> over there. So, I'm going to have two Batman books. Good. Congratulations. Unless it's a downward Congrats. spiral to Batman life. Doom and poorness. Deadpool versus Carnage comes up. So excited about this one? Yeah. <laughs> Four issue series by Colin Bunn, great writer. I like Colin Bunn. I, I, a lot of people do. I think it's gonna be it'll be fun. His Venom series is done, so maybe I'll take a look at this one. Yeah, I'm not I'm not into Deadpool or you know Carnage, but they're very popular so it's characters. Made just for you. Yeah, it's made just for me. So guest star Jubilee. Art looks cool. <laughs> I made that up. Oh, I want to say please make sure I mean, Jubilee. I made, I made that up. <laughs> they, if she is, they better rip her apart, like her face <laughs> off. They better just rip her arms off. Everything. I would uh, read that though. I would too. If and I would read the massacred. Jubilee. I would read Jubilee's new Marvel now number one, <laughs> where she has to adapt to not having arms <laughs> or a face. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you got that. The they, they keep doing the Deadpool mini series. They, they they always work. Then they sell as trades. They sell forever. Marvel knows how to handle the Deadpool character. It's working. Carnage. They keep bringing it up. It sells. It's like almost he's on the verge of uh, getting I don't back. I think to... they'll ever give Carnage a series though. No, but People he come in and ask. He doesn't gonna... work in a series. No, but he's. Good for because uh, people love him. Carnage is like very beloved. He's like a Venom character where Venom has his own little runs, but when people really try to collect that character, it's just a mess. Yeah, because they have so many mini series yeah, to pick yeah, up. There's so much. many appearances, but it's good, and they have those uh, those diehard fans, so they're gonna go looking for it. Inhuman number one. Uh, it's an interesting you're book. Writing this Hickman. It, I think it was supposed to be Hickman before he left Marvel. Now it's Charles Soule who's writing everything. Great writer. And it's uh, Joe Mads doing the art. Uh, most of you guys know Joe Mad was big in the 90s uh, with the X-Men stuff. Exploded, and then he disappeared. He went on doing video game work. And now he kind of comes back. He came back for Avengers Spider-Man. And, uh, yeah. Savage Wolverine. Now he's back for this. I'm not sure how long he's going to be on it. But people love Joe Mad. It, it, it's, it, he's like a mini McFarlane. Like McFarlane's a huge following. This has, He has a smaller following, but people are, are, are you know rabid about his stuff. So... It's kind of it's cool to see it. It's got a you know feel to it. I don't know how if the book can come out on time because he tends to be very late with books. This book's really late. So, this is a like I said before. Hickman was supposed to write this, then they had the joke on the Sex Criminals cover, yep. where they crossed off because he. We don't know what's going on with him in Marvel. We don't know how long he'll be there. Yeah. But the interesting thing in the preview is that they say jump on to the new Marvel franchise. So 
they're really trying to build this up to be the next, you know, we have Avengers, Guardians of the Galaxy out of nowhere is a Marvel franchise. Yeah. I know they've talked about doing a movie for Inhumans. And this is kind of the, yeah, this is to whet everybody's appetite, just kind of test the waters. I, I would definitely check it out. It's, it's new, it's fresh. Kind of it's not a big commitment. If you don't like it, you know, you know we have to worry, worry about anything else. So I would, it looks interesting. I like the art, so I'm going to check it out. And there's a cloud going around that's turning in people into in, in humans around the world. No, that's all good. That's it's, good. It's a weird cloud. So we have from those clouds. Well, you yeah, like clouds, clouds, so. Joe Mad, clouds, sounds good. The only cloud I like is from Final Fantasy. You really like him? Why not? You should dress up like him for I'm a free comic book day. Anybody. Okay. Why don't I dress up like Cloud? I don't, I don't do anything. I just don't like the character Have Cloud. Have you been on the internet? It's, what, it's all rage now. I'm, I'm sure it is. Dress up as Sonic, go to the bank. I don't know what people do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, Aquaman is getting a second, yes, a second series. And somebody's happy about I it. I am very happy. I love Aquaman. One of my favorite characters. And his series sells very well. It's well enough where you can actually get a second book. It's cool because it's bringing other characters to kind of take away yeah, from Aquaman. So. Aquaman. <laughs> Aquaman and the Others, number one hits. It's a monthly ongoing. It's coming out, written by uh, Dan Jurgens. I'm excited about it. More Aquaman, the better. So. And it's based off a run in the regular Aquaman series from before yeah. that whole big crossover. And it's a Futures End prelude. So Futures End is that, is that um, a weekly series that's going to be hitting. So Interesting. So congratulations, Aquaman. You did All of his Aqua Pals. Originally going to call it The Others, also Aquaman, <laughs> but they figured the title was yeah, not excited catchy. About this. And to finish off the week, we got one of Dave's favorite books, Black Science. Black five. Science. So uh, their pillar that they've been shooting around different dimensions in, it's they figured out that it's actually been sabotaged. Uh-oh. And it may be somebody that's been there with them. Really? Also, they say that there's howling ghost monkeys, which sounds dumb, but if you look at the cover, <laughs> they're going to, to a bunch of different really strange dimensions. They're oh. trying to give it a feel of like old EC sci fi. Howling Ghost awesome. Monkeys sounds like a cool band name. I wouldn't listen to Howling Ghost Monkeys. I feel like they'd open for Red Hot Chili Peppers in like the <laughs> 80s <laughs> at some club. That'd be bad. And everyone would go out. Like they'd be like, oh, I'll have a cigarette. I'd be like, you don't smoke. And I'd be like, I still. <laughs> yeah, that's bad. They're really bad. That's an awful band. Uh, to jump back real quick. You didn't read Superior Spider-Man number thirty that came out last week. I suggest you do. One mentioned it earlier. So it was cool. Very cool. Well, you should know already because you read it. Yeah, but if you didn't, pick it up. Then do it. So yeah, so not a big week last week. Everything came out this week. It's not a lot of number twos, number threes come out. There's not really any big launches this week aside from Inhuman and Aquaman. So <clears throat> I can't wait for Detective Comics thirty. It's gonna be awesome. I know Patrick McCluskey. Very, very It's like a number one. one. This is like a brand new number one for you to read. But Pat, Pat McCluskey, who works here, is cannot wait for this. Wait, who are you? Pat McCluskey. Never heard of him. <laughs> Good, because he's got Manipal. He loves Manipal. He does. And oh, the art. Look at the art. This, this is awesome. Pat, this one's for you, kid. This one's for you, Pat. You <laughs> said no. No, it's a joke. Well, he maybe, maybe he said something. He has a power dog. You know, he's an old man. <laughs> He's no he laughs at everything. Brand. It doesn't matter. So, all right, we'll see you at the shop. Dave, Corey, Zap Comics. You're good guys. Bye.